So we're gonna go carnival rating, one to 10, taste, creativity, and money all come into play. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, my man. Cheers. 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 I have a rose wine slushy. It's like 7-Eleven met Napa Valley here at the fair, <laughs> state fair. Buddy. Body. Pal. Look, innovation through the roof, 10 out of 10. Seven dollars, really? This is hefty for seven dollars. In the taste, I, I like a fine wine in the summertime. So I'd say the taste, money, and innovation, creativity mixed together, I'm probably gonna give it an 8.82. 8.82. I repeat, 8.82, highly, highly recommend it. If I had to give this a score, I would probably give it a 8.2 out of 10. It's flambunctious. It's exciting. It makes my mouth want to go crazy. Food number what? Two? Three. Food number three. Food number two. Uh, chocolate covered bacon. Um, my guesstimate is probably gonna be really fucking good. Turd. It's like a piece of shit. <laughs> I give it like a 7.8. Good? Like it's not good. Not, yeah, it's, 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 it's great. I can taste the GMOs. Or turkey bacon. Look. These guys are bullshitting you. Let me tell you what it was. That was dog shit. It tasted like chocolate. Yeah. It tasted like a Nestle Crisp bar. False advertising. That was, that was. I don't even think there was bacon in there. You lied to me? You sold me a Hershey's bar for eight dollars. You get a one. And you don't like Kanye. She told us she doesn't like Kanye. You get it. You get a one. Hot Cheeto corn on the cob. Food number four. Creativity, nine. The spice is there. A little kick in the back of my throat. Corn taste is good. I think it's butter. I thought it would be mayo. And I don't like mayo. I might be wrong. I'd give it. Is it gross? What is it? No, no, no. It's a, it's more normal, I guess, than I thought. So because of that, the idea is like a 10 out of 10 creativity, but actual taste is the creativity is not there. I'd give it a 6.82. 6.82. Definitely not bad. 6.82. So far, our wine slushies are winning. It's interesting. I don't really know. I don't really know what to think. It's a little more normal. It's like gross, but it's good. It's fried watermelon. Watermelon that is fried. Looks like we got some powdered sugar, a cherry for absolutely no reason, and some probably disgustingly fake cherry sauce. We also hunted across a pineapple, also fried. With the, the world's saddest dollop of whipped cream. That is pretty sad. That's sad. Here we go. Look. It's really difficult to make a fried food bad. You know, let's be honest. Watermelon though, although sweet when you're eating it by itself, is not sweet enough, I think, to hang with the fried. So creativity, I, fuck, I forgot the price again, sorry. Price is part of this. I'd say 7.48, 7.48. I think I have a feeling pineapple is slightly sweeter than watermelon, so I feel like this is gonna be elevated. Because when you get that fried in there, you really, like one of my favorite things is fried ice cream. The warm, the cold, the sweet, the not, one of the best things ever. So I feel like this is gonna be more along those lines. Where that, texture-wise, that texture took me on a ride to Funky Town. I love the texture. But the actual taste, less than desirable. Left something, left you, you hunting for something. It's that, 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 what's it called, the cliffhanger. The taste left me a cliffhanger. The texture took me to Mars. Yeah, yeah. Just like I expected. Just like I expected, that's good. Pineapple, when you bite into a pineapple, you get a little punch in the mouth. And when it's fried, that's exactly what you need. You got the fried and then a punch of the pineapple right in your mouth. It's just sweet enough. Pineapple's a meatier. If you're gonna fry something, you need some meat in there. And that pineapple, that's a fried pineapple. Nine, nine, 9.12, off the Richter.
and Dean and James. So we thank you so much. And now, I'm not finished. We like to feature our um, That's really good. We're, we're still young men in heart, right? Okay. How many am I? She's talking to somebody else. Yeah. That's pretty good, Bob. So the reason I'm good, solid Bob. is That's because uh, this is a pretty tough song for the horns to play. I know well, what a stick I mean, was. It's a little stick. It features our lead trumpet player, Von Cachagorian. Yeah, come on, Bob. I'd rather use a glass of milk, Bob. I need a breather. breather. Who's the production manager on the off. set? We need some milk. So we just saw some, uh, most, some of the most American shit I've ever seen in my life. There's a monster truck ride, which I've never seen. I used to watch monster trucks and I used to, I've been to it here when it was at Arco Arena, the old King Stadium. Uh, and I just think it's hilarious. And it was $10 for a ride and it looked wild. So we had to say, yeah. And it was literally just a monster truck. They had a roll cage in the back and some seats in the back with some baby little fucking seat belts, but somehow held our fat asses in there. Uh, and he just pulled some wild stuff. So uh, I'm not a huge like thrill ride or thrill seeker, adrenaline junkie by any means. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. So. We got our one ride in, thrill park. We got our food, we got our scratch offs, we got our lemonade. Not too bad. California State Fair, a little bit of mud. Uh, a little corny, a little bit the same for the last uh, 20 years I've been here. Uh, but a lot of fun, a lot of nostalgia. I used to come here all the time with my friends and my dad especially. Uh, my dad uh, worked for a corporate AT&T and they had a regular booth here, but since my dad liked people and environment and food and change, uh, he would come here and he'd work the booth uh, just to be able to talk to new people. So we'd come here, not every day, but we'd come here multiple times a week to be able to kick it with him. So uh, really cool to see, really cool because uh, I've missed the last couple of years, traveling, work, whatever it might be. We were in Texas last year. So uh, to come back, drink some of the lemonade, scratch some of the scratch offs like I used to uh, when I was younger. I worked here a couple years myself. I played music here. We had a concert every night, made some cash money. Uh, as a kid, like eighth grade, uh, there's some kid art museums in there <clears throat> and they had us come play there a couple times. So just something rooted here in Sacramento. If you're from Northern California, you've probably been here besides these numbskulls who uh, have never come, but it's a very common theme. So a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy some of the footage, enjoyed some of the food, more food stuff coming perhaps. If you guys are into it, We'll see. Appreciate you. Give it a thumbs up. Videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Hopefully more food, more travel. I think we're heading to Texas next. So some barbecue on the way.